This past weekend with the OCA extravaganza, and as you can see, we got some goodies. But while we were there, we went to one of my favorite stores, which is Something Fishy in Cleveland, Ohio. So let's take a look. So Dave had the store pretty stocked, as he knew plenty of sickly lovers were gonna be coming in for the OCA extravaganza, and were probably gonna be coming by his store. So here's a look at some of the display tanks. And some of the big tanks that he had on sale. Here is this wall tank that's an absolute monster. Huge Venustus. Absolutely massive Fossorochromus rostratus, a big bad male blue dolphin, a frontosa, as well as a few more. The main sales tanks were also pretty heavily stocked and filled with the majority of freshwater species that you've probably ever seen. So let's take a look. Both myself and Pittsburgh Pets and a lot of the other people that were in the store who were visiting for the OCA extravaganza were then lucky enough to go downstairs and check out the basement where Dave the owner has got the majority of his breeding groups that for the most part consists of a wide variety of cichlids. So first up we've got this Exochromus anagenis group, could be butchering the name, not sure. Either way, these are a really, really cool fish. Looked like a young group, but you can see that one of them's starting to show a little bit of coloration in his face. Here we've got Dave's massive tank in the middle of the room, and I believe that's an emperor cichlid. This guy was absolutely monstrous. Talk about an alien predator monster fish. There's one right there. That guy must have easy been about four foot long, I would say. And right here we're getting into my bread and butter with a beast show male, red shoulder peacock, an absolutely awesome Alunacara Walter right here. Coloration on that guy was really, really nice. And here we've got two Otter Points, who both in their own right are crazy. I kind of like the one in the back, to be honest. Let me know down in the comments which one you prefer there. The first one closest to us or the back one? I'm not sure. There, I believe that's a super red empress that Dave's been working on that specific strain for quite a while now. Here, I 
don't know what that was he was hiding. Right there we've got a Stragatus and that guy's fin as well. Pretty nice as well. All the fish in those tanks are fish that Dave plans on breeding in the future but doesn't have females at that specific point in time. And right now I know he's looking for Walter Eye females just like I am. Coming down the road we've got some more awesome fish and right here this was the highlight looking back through this video <laughs> what a legend if that's you and you happen to be watching that video let me know in the comments i didn't see it at the time when i was videoing but that is pretty funny give me a good laugh when i were editing that but anyway moving on here we've got a ethawaini group and this guy's fins were pretty nice and then this male here, I'm not too sure what he is. Kind of looks similar to an ivory head and a loto, although I don't think it is. If you've got any ideas of what that dude is, I'm sure he's a strain I'm just not familiar with. Leave it down in the comments. He's a really, really nice fish and his fins, again, are pretty nice. Here we've got a group of Aristochromus Christii, the hawk, and that male. Right at the bottom there, he's starting to show some nice colour. And here we've got a Notatania group. And this tank that they were in were absolutely huge and the male was chasing around the females quite a lot during the time that we were there. And then we start heading toward the other room and we enter Dave's little world of Frontosa. And some of these specimens are just unbelievable to look at. The size, the coloration, just so majestic, in my opinion. So yeah, an absolute boatload of Frontoza. I hope that dude in that pipe weren't stuck. But then, once you leave the room full of Frontoza, we go into a separate room where there's this really, really cool koi tank. And then this monstrous piranha that's by himself in this pretty large tank, probably due to his aggression. He was a big boy. We've got a really cool freshwater puffer here. It was just saying hi to all the guests and then some freshwater stingrays in this tank and this tank had to be at least 300 gallons or more. Anyway guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of something fishy. I know I certainly enjoyed going round and I hope you got a pretty good feel for what the store's like when you're walking around there as a customer through this video. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. We're going to be bringing out weekly videos from here on out every Thursday. We'll see you on the next one.